Ah! That was a bit of a random good morning, good afternoon, welcome. Thanks for joining myself, Debs Cooper, on my Facebook Live today. Today I'm talking about baggage in relationships and who is actually accountable. So thanks for joining me. Let me know if you're live or let me know if you're a replay where you are in the world. That would be super, super cool. Thank you. What I'd love to talk about is baggage in relationships. And this actually came about from a conversation with my hairdresser uh, recently. And we started talking about what is actually baggage. And I'm talking about the emotional baggage. Uh, so you know the emotional baggage and it's anything that weighs you down and I'm just going to describe what emotional baggage actually is. So when I talk about weighs you down it makes you feel heavy and your shoulders feel slumped over and you're like this instead of actually putting your shoulders back and being a little bit more uh, who you are but you're down. Anything that uh, carries over and over in your head and it's going on and on and on, it's repeated and repeated. When you get that feeling of unease, and when I talk about unease, you know that uncomfortableness that's going on when you start thinking about your ex or your current or your current ex or um, financial situations or work challenges or anything like that, and you feel that feeling of unease and it's like a like a butterfly but it's not the exciting butterflies that come along, it's more like oh I don't know what it feels like, it's like you've eaten something yucky and it's playing on and on you. It's when you have uh, sleepless nights and sleepless nights we know what they are and it's not just the waking up at 2am, it's the waking up at 2am, finally getting back to sleep at 4am and then waking up at 10 past 4 again and then finally getting back to sleep at 6 o'clock for your alarm to go off at quarter past 6 or whatever it is but it's having those sleepless nights, even struggle to get yourself to sleep no matter what you do, whether you meditate, your gratitude, any of those things, uh, take pills, whatever it is, alcohol, whatever it is to help you sleep, you're not getting that sleep and you're waking up and it's broken, shattered sleep. And I say shattered sleep because if you've never experienced that, um, you possibly won't know what I'm talking about, but shattered sleep is a knockout killer for you. It can just wipe you from your day. It's like when you have children and they've slept through the night for like a week and then one night they don't sleep through the night and you're like, how did I do it? And you're literally toothpicking your eyes. So you know those ones. It's emotional baggage is when you have uh, your eating and drinking habits change. And when I talk about your eating and drinking habits change, you sometimes when you're emotionally weighed down, you eat junk or you drink junk or you don't eat at all or you don't drink at all and you just don't really nurture yourself the best you can. Your exercise has changed, so maybe you have been somebody who has uh, walked every day and now you're not walking, or maybe you have uh, been going to the gym and you're just not going to that. You have mood swings, one minute you're happy, one minute you're sad, one minute you're down, you don't really know, you're confused, you're perplexed. This is when your mood, you have these mood swings and you can't pinpoint what specifically is actually going on. It's also when you have tears, and when I talk about tears, they're not gratitude tears. They are actually tears of sorrow, grief, exhaustion, bleh. And when I talk about bleh, I want you to know what that feels like. And that's the emotional baggage that can take over you and can give you those things. So when I talk about uh, emotional baggage... <laughs> I think about an intimate relationship and so it's anything that because there's clearly two there's the intimate relationship and then there's a the business relationship so just bear with me for one sec let me just oh my dog's trying to get up here and I give up in the end he's yep that would be Ben Ben my dog um so when we talk about an intimate relationship there's the intimate and the business so the intimate is more anything that you disagree on one person says I'm going to do this and the other person says I'm going to do that so you have a black and white you don't have a gray which is your middle match so either you both agree on the black or you agree on the white or you both agree on the gray which is in the middle so one is actually black, one is actually white, and there is no middle, and there is no changing. So that's what I'm talking about in an intimate relationship. So you may not have that in your world right now. You may have had it in your previous world. You may have little uh, niggles of it now. You may have it escalated to a grand level. But just know it's anything that you disagree on. So when I talk about anything you disagree on, I'm talking about children. And so when I talk about that, it could be... Uh, 
a conversation with your ex about who has what what hours etc money education who are they hanging with what's the best option here uh it could be going out for dinner could be clearly going out for dinner one wants to go out for dinner and one doesn't uh for someone's birthday so any of these things and this is where the baggage in your relationships and who actually is accountable because children coming into a new relationship is classed as baggage it doesn't have to be but it can be classed as baggage work buddies uh, can be classed as baggage so this could be coming into a new relationship and you've got work colleagues that you get along with you being I get along with but my partner doesn't or any of those things so think about those work buddies this is where you can have you want to go socializing your partner doesn't want to go socializing so who is actually accountable to this chaos that goes on in your mind exes family uh, so when I talk about family they all think about the bad mother-in-law da, 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 and then they talk about the most amazing um, sibling so we they all have there's somebody in the family we like and don't like so just know that but this can cause uh, baggage and unease and uncomfortableness and a scattering of the mind and the sleepless nights. This can cause all of this. And it's also about your social circle because like-minded stick with like-minded. So people who like to dance till the wee small hours will stick with people who can like to dance till the wee small hours. People like to hang with people who drink, people who smoke, people who exercise, people who work hard. So your social circle may be different to your current partner social circle so when I talk about that I also which is very similar to a business relationship because when I talk about business relationship it's again anything that you disagree on anything you disagree on and we talk about this I talked about this just the other day with a client and we talked about promotions and promotions as in so-and-so got the job and I should have got that job why did they get it? Why did they get promoted over me? HR decisions can be baggage into a relationship. And so when I talk about this relationship, it's not necessarily an intimate relationship. It's a business relationship, which could be an intimate, which is a connection, not a intimate, the other type. Might be, I don't know. Uh, unfair things happening at work and we label them unfair because we feel jealous jealous that uh, other departments get more money than us or they get opportunities that we don't get so when you think about this this is all the stuff that uh, is a baggage in a relationship so I know I've talked really fast and I and I was meant to say meant to say keep up and know where those things are for you and you're welcome to take notes a little bit but the key is how can you uh, notice your trigger points and so this is it once you notice your trigger points you can then I'm going to give you a, some tips on how to move forward out of that so I know I talked about this so your trigger points are anything that weighs you down anything that carries over in your head uh, the feeling of unease you know I talked about the tummy a feeling of unease the sleepless nights your eating and drinking habits change. Your uh, maybe you're socialising more, maybe you're socialising less. Your exercise changes and your mood swings. So they are all part of your trigger points. So once you've got your trigger points, make a note of them because once you understand those trigger points, that's the real key here. It's really important because once you've understood these trigger points, it allows you to actually go, ah, oh, okay, now I can work with that. But if you don't know your trigger points, it's going to be a little bit difficult to work with. So step one, stop. Stop, freeze, just take a breather, and then step two, assess the situation. Now I talk about Big Brother It. Uh, so when I say Big Brother It, look like there's a reality TV show on you, filming you. Look from others' perspective, look from your perspective, look from other people's angles, look from everybody around as though you were being assessed. Look and Big Brother It. Number three is, is it a story from my past or is it something new? Is it a story from my past or is it something new? And one, two, three, four, five, 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 five. The next one is, is it the truth? Is it true or have you made it up? So go back after the truth. Is it the truth? Go back to assess the situation. Big Brother, it uh, reality TV show. Have a real good firm look, and then go. Where did this truth come from? So if it's the truth, is it the truth? 
where did this truth come from? And you're going to have to go back, you're going to go back to your memory, and you're going to find out where was that big brother moment back then. Because if you don't dissolve or emotionally um, support and work through that past stuff, it's just going to keep coming and smacking and smacking you. So once you've big brothered it and you found out if it has come from then, or if it's come from here, or if it's come from here, as close to the future as now, this is the exercise that you do after that. So you're looking for gratitude. And you're going to ask yourself, what is the value to me? Of this happening what is the value to me of uh, bringing this emotional baggage into my relationship what's the value to me of other people bringing it into my relationship what's the value to me be grateful for what is going on to you right now because not only is it making you stop and get present and really assess the situation and see how important it is it's getting you real and when you understand both sides to all the equations that are going on around you or more than both sides you're actually going to understand who you are and what's really going on for you and who you are as a person. So the next thing you're going to ask yourself is who is accountable because you know I talked about baggage and relationships and I said who is accountable. The truth is the person accountable is you. You, you, you. You are accountable for everything that happens in your life no matter where you are, no matter what happens, you are always accountable to what happens. So, you, what others say or do isn't there to upset you because they're going through their own baggage right now. But what it is is about you being accountable to what's happened to you, no matter what people have said or done or not said or not done, it doesn't matter. This is about you. You're the one that must feed your soul in here all of this to be a hundred percent of where you're going and what you'd like to do so one of the ladies i do an, or the lady i do my amazing podcast with um deliciously motivated mindset with debs and moira she talked about letting the dust stick on the velcro and this is exactly it you don't want the dust to stick on the velcro because it is a bugger to try and pull that bits of the velcro out so don't let this past being the dust come through and stick in your velcro to your current day know that uh, your body your whole body is for you to react or not react you are in control of your body your mind is yours to react or not to react this is yours to control so when I talk about who is accountable who have I said and I'd like to just you know I could easily go like this but that puts me accountable for your stuff who's accountable for this is you you are 100% accountable to everything that happens and doesn't happen to you in your life oh so thank you very much i've just noticed there's a shadow going on maybe if i stand here like this thank you very much for joining me today uh baggage in relationships who is accountable you whether you like it or not it's you 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 so please do those uh tips that i've given you i'd love to know how you got on i'd love to know what you thought about this send me a private message don't send me a private message send me one on here let me know that's awesome thank you very much i am signing off i'm trying to get that shadow out of the way i'm signing off today i will see you next week with an exciting tip on life uh thank you and see you later facebook live open and out debs cooper stressologist see ya